NFC stands for Near Field Communication, which allows two devices to communicate while holding them close enough. This technology is also used for contactless payments via your standard credit card or by using Apple Pay. NFC tags don't require batteries to work and are waterproof. The average price of one NFC tag is around 5 cents, so they are really cheap. Using NFC tags will save you a lot of time and effort, and trust me, you will start using them after watching this video. In this video, I will show you how to use NFC tags with your iPhone. There are multiple creative ways to use them in your everyday life, like for example, running automated actions from the Shortcuts app. This tiny NFC tag becomes, in this case, just a trigger that launches the action executed by the Shortcuts app or HomeKit automation. Fasten your seatbelts, because in this video I will teach you how to program NFC tags using Shortcuts app or NFC tools for even more advanced usage and configuration of your NFC tags. I will also show you where to buy the cheapest and the best NFC tags on the market. If you want to support me, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tech and lifestyle oriented content. Without losing more of your time, let's go straight to the topic of this video. First of all, I want to show you some examples of how I use NFC tags in my day-to-day -day life. Some examples are pretty creative. Play menu on the AirPods Pro case. The most common usage of the NFC tag throughout my day is my AirPods Pro case. I have a little NFC tag sticker on my AirPods and every time I approach my AirPods to my iPhone, it automatically runs my play menu shortcut. It proposes me a list of four actions that are related to my AirPods Pro usage. Open a music app, shuffle the music, play a selected podcast or open Audible to listen some audiobooks. It's simple, when I'm using my AirPods, obviously I'm gonna listen to music or some podcasts or audiobooks. So why should I manually look for the app, open the app, tap inside the app? Anyway, there are only four possibilities in my case. Using this little NFC tag throughout the years saved me a lot of time. Imagine, I'm saving five minutes per day, equals 30 hours per year. I'm using this NFC tag for around five years, so I probably saved five days of my living time thanks to this 5 cent NFC tag. That's crazy. Remember, optimization is the key to your success. I have an NFC chip on my running shoes. When I approach my iPhone to my running shoe, it automatically starts my running workout and starts to play music. Everything happens automatically. How cool is that? It works like a magic. Every time I'm going to run, it saves me precious time and energy. I just tap my phone on my shoe and the magic happens. I'm ready for a new run. No time to lose for opening music app and selecting my music tracks, then opening Nike Plus Run app, everything happens automatically. Next example of my NFC tag usage is my Kindle Paperwhite e-reader. Every time I want to read, I don't want to get disturbed, so I have a special reading time mode on my iPhone. When I tap my iPhone to my Kindle Smart Cover NFC tag, it launches automatically my reading mode and all notifications and calls are hidden. Only a selected group of VIP contacts can contact me in case of emergency. Pretty simple automations with my NFC tags is called lights on or off. The red NFC sticker triggers lights in my apartment on. The blue one turns them off. So I don't even have to ask Siri to turn on or off lights. I just have to place my iPhone on the right or left corner of the table, depending on what action I want to launch. This is really handy. I also configured one NFC tag to trigger the bedtime mode shortcut on my iPhone. When I put my iPhone in a specific place on my little bed table, it runs custom-made sleep time routine shortcut. So it turns off the lights, selected list of electronic devices and opens my sleep tracking app. So my iPhone knows when placed in a specific corner on my table, it means I'm going to sleep right now. So it automatically triggers bedtime mode. How cool is that? Navigation Assistant is a really simple shortcut that I use mostly on my e-bike. Basically, when triggered through the NFC chip, it asks me where I want to go, my most common places like home, work or a custom location. Then it automatically starts navigation, so I don't have to open the navigation app, tap my address, etc. Everything happens instantly. This is very handy, especially when you are in a rush and you have to go somewhere really quickly. It saves me precious minutes. That's why I'm never late. 
chat GPT on iPhone. This is one of the most crazy shortcuts I ever made. And the way I trigger the shortcut is also quite genius. I have a little NFC sticker on the back of my MagSafe wallet. When I have to find an answer on a very specific hard question, I can just ask artificial intelligence by detaching my MagSafe wallet and tapping it to my phone. Then it runs ChatGPT interface and I can ask my hard question. I'm getting answer in a few seconds. By the way, I made a separate video about ChatGPT shortcut on iPhone. Check it out if you're interested. Using this shortcut makes me the most intelligent man in my office, because I know answers on all questions, literally. Thanks to a little NFC tech visit card, I can even share my social media accounts, iPhone, email or even Instagram page. All I have to do is to program the NFC tag to contain the URL with my information. A simple tap with my visit card on the iPhone or Android phone of another person will show them my contact details or any other related information. That's pretty impressive. Well, when I'm showing my visit card to people, usually they are pretty impressed and usually they will call me back, especially girls. How to set up NFC tag automation in the Shortcuts app? By the way, I made a separate tutorial video about the Shortcuts app on iOS. Check it out if you are interested. Here are steps to set up NFC tag automation in the Shortcuts app on your iPhone. Make sure your iPhone supports NFC tags. NFC tags are only supported on iPhone 7 and later. Obtain an NFC tag. You can purchase them online or in your local IT store. Open the Shortcuts app on your iPhone and go to Automation tab. Tap on Create Personal Automation. Choose from the proposed trigger events when I tap an NFC tag. Select Scan NFC. Hold the NFC tag close to the back of your iPhone to scan it. After scanning your NFC tag, add a name and tap on Next. Tap on Add Action. Search for some actions or select the action you want to automate, such as play music, send message, turn on the Wi-Fi. In my case, I want to run an already existing shortcut that already contains a predefined scenario. In the search bar, look for Run Shortcut and choose one of your shortcuts. Once you have configured the action, tap on Next. Make sure to uncheck Ask Before Running. In this case, your automation or shortcut will run automatically when your iPhone will approach your NFC tag without you having to confirm it. That's what we want to do, because if you will keep Ask before running, you'll have to confirm the action every time. When the setup is finished, tap Done. The next time you will scan the NFC tag with your iPhone, the action you configured will be performed automatically. That's it, you have now successfully set up NFC tag automation in the Shortcuts app on your iPhone. Congratulations! An important point is worth mentioning about using NFC tags with your iPhone. The advantage of iOS is that you don't have to unlock your iPhone to use the NFC tag as a trigger for your shortcut automation or running selected shortcuts. The only thing you have to do is to activate the screen of your iPhone when approaching NFC tag. If you will approach your iPhone in sleep mode, nothing will happen. Just tap the screen and the magic will happen. NFC Tools is an app available on iOS that allows you to program and interact with NFC tags in a more advanced way, let's say. You can download this app in the App Store, it's free. Thanks to this application, you can write, read, edit, erase, log or even set a password on your NFC tags. Where to buy the cheapest NFC tags? The cheapest option is to get NFC tags on AliExpress.com. I will leave some links in the description of this video. Buying them in China is really cheap. If you want to have a faster delivery, you can also buy them on Amazon or in your local IT store, but they are more expensive on these platforms. The best place to buy is AliExpress.com, my favorite shopping place that allows me to save money and buy Rolex watches. Thanks for watching. If you want to support me, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tech and lifestyle oriented content. Don't forget to check out my other videos on my channel as well. See you later on YouTube. Bye bye.